Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Cerner Hacks. In this episode, we're going to tackle the problem of patient list printing. Have you ever wondered how you can print off a list of your 100 patients in a condensed form? Well, stay tuned and we'll show you how to do it in this episode. Hey folks, here's a problem. I know we're on Cerner and this is all supposed to be paperless, but let's be real. There's a patient list of 100 people that we need to see and we have to organize them in an effective way. We need a list to split up the patients so that we can round on them effectively or split them. At the end, we may need to fax it off to our wards so things aren't quite paperless in the real world. So we do want this condensed list, but in Cerner, there's actually no real way of doing this. Let's say our team is working to east and we have to split up all the patients, so we want a condensed list. What do we do? Our workaround is to use Excel. So hopefully your institution has Excel as a part of your Cerner environment. So first of all, you want to organize your list according to what is important to you. In this case, let's sort by location. So we're going to click on location, and now you can see all the patients are sorted by room number. If you want to sort by patient name, you could do that as well. We're going to select this button, which is a select all patients button. And now we right click and we will copy. So now you've copied this list in this exact order that you want. You next go into your Excel document. Let's open that up. So here you have an Excel spreadsheet open. Now paste onto the Excel spreadsheet. What we want to do next is delete the columns that we don't want. So here's two blank rows that we'll delete. So let's highlight them. You'll right click and you will delete. Obviously, we want the patient's name, adjust the sizing of the rows. We want the room numbers to make it easy for us to see. In this example, we're not going to worry about these columns here. So we will select those and delete. And we won't want any of this information either and delete. And we have to readjust the column width. And this is exactly what we want printed. The next thing we do is add column headings. And we want to number the lines so when they print off, it will be easy for people to follow. This is somewhat different in Windows and in Mac. This is the Mac version. We go into Page Layout and we select Page Setup and we want a custom header. Let's say we want to put in today's date and we can select this to auto input the date. And then the center section will just say Hospitalist List. We'll be okay. And that will be printed on the heading of every page. Next thing we do is select Sheet and we want the grid lines and the row columns. So next thing we would want to do is print it. So we go into the print menu. We'll go here. And this is how you print your list. And what you'll end up with is something like this, which has the date, the title, and your 86 patients here sorted by room number with their name and the MRP. Unfortunately, I don't have a Windows environment, but I'll show you how it's done. Uh, you click into the file section of the Excel spreadsheet. That will bring into, into this menu here. You'll pick print. You'll see then this menu and then you'll do page setup. And then for the header and footers, uh, very similar to what we saw in the Mac environment, you do the header footer and then custom header. And that's where you're going to be able to input your uh, custom headers and the same instructions go as for the Mac environment. As for the grid lines and row column headings, you click on the sheet tab then you'll check off the grid lines and row columns and you'll press OK and then you can print off your document as we talked about. OK, so that's how it's done on the Windows environment. So our group uses this list to run through on Monday mornings when we're switching MRPs to make sure every patient is covered. We also use this list to fax out to every ward to let them know who MRP is. Hopefully that was useful for you. We'll sign off for now.